Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, P. Rush. Welcome, bike. Oh, the time right now is 4.58. It's a Sunday. I'm trying to think of the day. I don't know. But anyways, I let myself sleep in. I let myself sleep in on the weekends in general because I put my alarm clock far away from me. So I woke up, walked to my phone. I just was like, no. We're gonna snooze and snooze and snooze. The next thing I knew it was like 10.30. So I think it was like nine. So it's not crazy. Oh, I missed it, it did not catch. I need to light this candle. This is my happiness candle. And it really do be working. Lit my happiness candle and an incense. These little candles are the truth, okay? What was I talking about? It's 4.30, it's, it's 5. I don't know where I got 4.30 from. You guys are like, y'all are, y'all get the whole umbrella of me. Anyways, yeah, I've been sitting here. I'm uploading a video right now. Um, yeah, so the cat is out of the bag, you guys. I don't know if I picked this up on my moving in video. Literally, my apartment window is next to a house, and the top of this house is an Airbnb. And let me tell you how I put this together. I put this together because every week there's different people at the top of the house. But the bottom level, like the rest of the house, when I go on my walks, like obviously I walk by the house and stuff. So I've seen like a whole house of people like moving in. But yeah, at the top, I've realized it's Airbnb. Because I also see that they have cleaners that come and they will like clean up the space and stuff. There's like this little patio ledge that they have that faces the bridge, which is super cute. But yeah, people just keep coming out there. It's so weird though, cause like at the same time, it makes me not want to open my window sometimes because if their windows are open, I'm like, if you're looking at, if I'm looking at you, you probably looking at me. So I really be having them closed. That was like the only thing when I moved in here that I was a little disappointed about just because I went from being on the ground floor street level and I always had my windows closed because people were always staring in it to being here and then there's always the possibility that somebody could be standing in here as well. It's just life, but either way, I'm grateful. It's fine, I've gotten used to it. I need to even put together that it's an Airbnb without even knowing anybody over there. That's besides the point. So today's Sunday, I'm just really chilling and not doing much, but uploading this YouTube video that I'm posting today. And it has about 30 more minutes before it goes live, so I'm excited. I know you guys can hear my laundry in the back. Sorry about that. I had no plans on recording. I'm watching Aaliyah's face. I also just watched Monet today. Love Monet. Listen, the other day I was sitting, I was sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, I've been seeing a lot of people go to Fashion Week and it's not sitting well in my spirit that I'm not invited. I wanna make it a goal for myself. Like people are gonna be hitting me up. Will you come out? Will you, do you wanna come to Fashion Week? We're speaking that into existence right now. We gotta be thinking about really what we want next year to like be like. Think about that shit now. A lot of people will wait until New Year's Eve and shit before they think, no, the new year is starting now. We're getting ready for it now. I know when the seasons change, it makes people start feeling a little bit worse. I get excited about it. When it starts getting cloudy and gray again, I'm not a fan of the gray, like don't get me wrong, I love a good sunshine, but I also love fall time and just the changing of seasons because to me that invokes something new, new start, fresh start, like let's get into it. So I'm thinking about it right now. Last year I made, for New Year's, I just did a vision board on Canva, I basically put some images from Pinterest and it was actually really dope to like look back on it and see how much of that has been accomplished. And even the spaces where you're like, oh, I didn't get that exactly like that, it still happened. So I'm really grateful, I am indeed. I'm gonna do that like every year, just continue to make the vision board. There's more that goes into creating a vision board other than just like putting some pictures together and being like, cool, I did that. Like you really gotta stare at it every day and manifest with it, vision yourself in those spaces and really see it for it to come to fruition. But everything happens for a reason nonetheless. So listen, if it didn't happen last year, it's going on the list for the next. Still don't have no couch, okay? When you had enough money for the apartment but not the furniture, and that's okay because
because we have what we need. I'm not dying out of couch because honestly, this rug is really soft. I just throw like a throw blanket down and another blanket and I'm cruising, honestly. And I really don't have people in my house like that ever. 4K complete! We are about to press upload. Oh. Also, every time I post a YouTube video, I have a little celebratory session. For the real ones who know me know that we be partaking within the za, okay? Okay? Every, every once in a while, you know, getting into a little meditative state. The week before last, took a break, and then this week, dabbled back in. But then I also was comparing, like, the previous week and this week, how I was like, yeah, I was a little bit more productive and I liked the way that my body just felt overall. Coming into another time where it's like, I really do want to take a break from this. For myself personally, I think I am just, I'm working on something and once I get over to the other side, then it could be more play. But right now I'm like, girl, we gotta be a little bit more focused. We gotta be putting our best foot forward. Not our okay foot, the foot that gets through our best mother foot. I'm trying to stop cussing, okay? I'm trying to stop, but it's hard. And if any of my family members are watching, it's, it's, it's on you. It is on you guys. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best with what I was raised with. Simple. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. We got the video posted. So every time I do a little pose, I like to also do a little watch. Just to see what it looked like. I'm gonna put it on my TV because I'm my biggest fan. Let's look us up. I just feel like in, in awe of myself in these videos. To be very honest, like I kind of don't want to watch it only because I've been watching it like all day, really trying to put it together. But I do want to see it still. I'm such a, let's see how this looks. new intro i need to change inspiration is yeah it says store time and not story time so <laughs> let's make a little adjustment um but yeah shout out to aaron because he makes all of my beats and literally has just been a solid friend from the jump and i'm so grateful because all the beats are fire and i know a lot of people starting out with their youtube it's so hard finding like non-copyrighted music but also music that's good link in the description right now because really this is good child i can't spell story time yeah that's better my first video i remember i used a beat from CapCut, and i just it was really not doing it for me i just am extremely grateful that's all i'm saying for real for real okay because a homeboy i'm out here looking official because music makes a big difference in people's vlogs finally the clothes of the dryer stop i'm gonna start my break this week where i will have none of it in my house but today it's a little celebratory moment whenever you're creating anything no matter how big or small celebrating yourself and those wins celebrating this hundred i can't believe i haven't talked about that yet either i just want to say that from the bottom of my little cute heart i love you guys i'm grateful for everybody who's here and everybody who is just tuning in with the kid watching me soar and live this great moment we going to i'm trying to be a weekly that's where the big bags are. Big bags, the weekly vlogs. I just wanna be more consistent. The way I can continue to build community is by being consistent. Get in the routine and the mindset of, you know, recording and editing. Honestly, the video I just posted, um, that one last week, that one I started randomly editing. I got this inspiration at like 10 p.m. I came home from hanging out with some friends and I was looking through some stuff that I had and I was like, oh, this will be the one. And literally just pulled this together in a couple of hours and then did some touches this morning. So editing honestly really doesn't take me that long. Yeah, I mean, I can do it. I know I can do it. So that's that's a, another goal that we're, I'm setting for myself is like, we gonna take the za break and we gonna get in the routine mindset for being a full-time YouTuber. Cause 
YouTube gonna be paying my full time. It will be my full time job in 2024. I'm saying this now. It will be my full time job. So. The thought that I have on my mind is the Drake album is really, really good to work out to. But just listening to, I only have about a few that I like for real, for real. To it in the gym, different experience, lovely, all of it. Listening to it just in the house, mm, when you start listening to them lyrics, you're like, what are we talking about? be cracking myself up like really I'm so funny this man said I stay with my hole like a bagel what I stay with that hole like a bagel I guess Basically, thank you for uh, making me clean my bedroom because I would not have done it, I guess, if I didn't start filming. So I made my bed. That's what I meant. Made my bed. There's still some stuff I have to hang up. I just cannot commit. And for some reason, I'm being so weird about like not wanting to put like a hole in the wall, basically, and hang something up and then not actually like it and then want to take it down. And then I got a hole in my wall. Like I've still all summer and fall. I'm still trying to figure out how I want things up. I'm getting a better idea. Um, but my bed, for an example, I kept moving it. Like, now it's centered again. But at one point, I had it pushed to this wall because it created more walking room to, work, to the closet space. But I just also don't like a bed pushed up against the wall. Like, I very much so like a bed in the center. So, and I still have my headboard, like, tucked behind it because... Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Why do these these motherfuckers just be coming? Like I was literally sitting here minding my business and they just be appearing. Like, get out of here, sir. You don't pay any bills. Ugh, I hate stink bugs.